So say you've had your iRobot for a while and all of a sudden it doesn't work. When it's out of warranty, what do you do? We're going to cover that and more and that's coming up. Guys, this is Herbie from Herbie's World, showing you that IT means I try. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. So on this channel, we do unboxings, stop support, life hacks, actual hacking, and tech reviews of your products. But well, one of our robots here at the house, now we have a ton of robots. We've got the Brava um, 3, we've got the i7 Plus, we've got the 360, we've got the WinBot, we have a 560 in a closet. What happens when out of warranty? How do you get it one back? That's what we're gonna cover here today. Anything you want to discuss in this episode, you'll find right on the bottom over here. So let's go take a look. Now when the i7 Plus came out, now the i7 is the robot, and then the Plus is the actual base. When it came out, I bought this for $999, but you can get one today for around $599. Now it's the 7550, really, really cool robot. It's an automatic dirt disposal robot that will go through clean and when it stops and needs charge, go back to the base, empty itself out and continue right where I left off. And you don't have to pull the uh, dirt display, the dirt receptor for a couple times, for about a month, which is really good robot, great ingenuity. And now we have some latest robots, which we'll take a look at, but right now we're gonna see what we did. Our iRobot didn't work. It's kind of brand new, it's less than a year old. And when I called the 800 number for iRobot, they told me that it was out of warranty, that they needed to send me an RMA, which is a return merchandise authorization, filled uh, return merchandise authorization form, which I filled out, and then they sent me a robot at the cost of $150. Now, if it was still within warranty, you would get the tech support from them and they would replace or fix the robot at no charge. But it's only $150 going through a third party site. Uh, it took about a week to get here and essentially that's what we have right over here. It's our repair. So we'll take a look uh, how efficient this was. Um, iRobot, we've always had an iRobot in our house. You really, really make cleaning the floors easy. It's uh, very intelligent. You don't have to continually clean. It does it for you. So let's pop this puppy open, see what it comes with, see what it doesn't, and then we'll charge it and add it to our state. The unboxing begin. Now, what are you guys using? Are you, have you guys, have you guys had an iRobot in your house? Which one are you using? Um, I think this came with a new battery. That's awesome. Which means now we have two batteries and I found that if you have something for mopping, something for sweeping, something for wiping, the house with kids around makes it really, really simple. Makes it clean. Makes it easy. And uh, keeps the house clean. So, point of fact, this here actually has all of the accoutrement that you would need, um, which means I have an extra uh, uh, extra sweeper, extra bristles here, and all we need to do is to add the robot battery in and we're ready to rock. So look, we have join this robot. We're going to hit join. And now it's just adjusting to the base. If you're not getting that connectivity, all you need to do is to hold the home and the cir circle button and it will provide it in a pairing status. Okay, now it's connected to the Wi-Fi, it's verifying the password. And then it's gonna connect to the cloud surfaces.
Now we're going to go to click on the robot. Pairing. You can see that it is blue. It is connecting to the Wi-Fi, verifying the password. And then we're going to establish the cloud connection to put back the old profile that we had on the robot back on the new one. And now we're going to, we did that, connecting, verifying the password. Now we're going to go to our Wi-Fi and you'll see that it has the iRobot right there. We click on it and then it should be able to pass off the connection. Verifying the password, establishing cloud connection. Well, which robots do you guys have? Are you still sleeping? Look on Amazon used, certified and used or refurbished, and you'll be able to get a great iRobot. It's one less chore you have to do. And if you get one of the latest ones that have a sweeper and a mopper, never touch your floors again. I think it's, it's a great addition to any house.